carp anglers, pike anglers, fishermen alike, welcome to Chasing Chunks TV. I'm Johnny Tosh and this is my fishing man cave and if you've not seen me or this backdrop before there's a possibility that you're new to my channel. So all you need to do is just hit that little red icon just in the corner and just underneath this video to the right is a little bell icon. Click on that and never miss another video from me again. We've got lots going on with my channel. We've got vlogs, reviews, competitions, anything to do with carp fishing or fishing in general. I usually cover it on my channel. So today's video we're going to be taking a closer look at this. This is the brand new 2021 x -Bod competition. This is a smaller version of the original x -Bod which I did a review of two years ago and if you've not seen that at the end of this video I'll leave a thumbnail for you to go and view. Now the only additional feature that's different on this is these added floats at the back. This is to aid with balance as you're casting it out. It allows the spod to go out straight and true and it also reduces wobble at the back of the spod in flight. Now it's got all the additional features of the original X spot, which in all honesty was a very, very good unit. And you've got them series of magnets throughout the body, which secure it and allow it to open up when it hits the leg. The build quality of this is simply superb. It does state on the actual packaging or the, the promo read up of it that it's indestructible and on the whole i have to agree with that because the plastics are very very tough the plastics inside are very thick and obviously having the magnets and now clip then it obviously reduces anything breaking however after using the original x -Pod, i found over time just where it meets the body and goes thin down to the back end I did have a few plastic stretch marks there and it did start to weaken up. Again, I like to tell my subscribers the honest truth and that is the only problem that I had with it. However, it did work. It still worked well, but I'm just letting you know the statement of being indestructible is a little bit far-fetched in my opinion. Now, it comes in at 15 99 which is pretty expensive in my opinion, when you compare it to my current favourite and probably in my opinion the best baiting spod on the market at the moment which is the Nash Dot Spod which comes in at $12.99 however after looking at it and looking at the quality of it you know is it going to justify that extra £3 and the only way we can tell is when I go out on the lake cast this out see how it performs and see whether it performs any better than this build quality wise without a shadow of a doubt this is better than this uh, because though I've had it two years you know it still is a little bit more plasticky it does rattle around there is a clip in there to go wrong where this has don't have none of them issues that the dot spot has now also the capacity of this is very very good as in regards to holding bait because it has four doors then you can open up one of the doors allowing you access to the main body and you can fill that body right up to the top and close up the lid again with the dot spot because you can't fill it up to its maximum capacity because obviously it falls off the edge and the bait falls out then both of these hold the same amount, even though this is a bigger unit. However, that's 4.5 and that comes in at 4 ounces. So it's a nice weight to cast out and I can't wait to uh, cast it out into the lake when we go out in a minute. They're also um, buoyant, so if you do crack off, you know that it may drift back into your swim and you can get it back. So yeah, it uh, does float. So we're going to take this out to the lake now and after that then I'll give you my honest opinion whether it's worth the 15 99 price tag 
and also I will be giving this away so that's just another advantage of subscribing to my channel so I'll see you in a bit we're gonna go down to the lake get this cast out see if it, if it opens up and see how it performs so I'll see you in a minute Ta-da. So, continuing on from my previous video inside the fishing man cave, taking a closer look at this 2021 Wolf Expod, I'm down today to try and see how it performs. So what I'm going to be doing is I'm going to be casting it out at range, I'm going to uh, see how it deposits its payload and I'm also going to see how it retrieves. To do that I'm going to be using a 13 foot free spirit spawn rod a Dyer emblem reel with 35 pound whiplash straight down to this wolf expod. It only weighs four ounces once it's loaded so you can actually use it on your fishing rod if need be. So what I'm going to be doing also is I'm going to be going over to my head cam so you can see how I'm seeing it and you can actually get a feel of how it performs. So without further ado I'm going to get the head cam on and let's see how this gets on. So while we're here, we might as well see how this loads up. So basically you've got the four doors which make up the body of this X-Pod and each individual door opens up. It doesn't matter which door it is and basically it moves over to the side allowing you access to the main body and because of the way that it's designed you can fill up that chamber right up to the top. So I can basically get the same amount of bait in there than what you can do with a bigger spawn and as you can see that's loaded up full and it'll close pretty well as well so that's loaded up four ounces at a guess that and also the other thing I like about this is that basically you can use it as a scoop if you're using pellets or particles so we've got an oncoming wind today and it's going to make everything a little bit more difficult but perfect for trying this spot out today now another thing that nobody's actually mentioned is because you've got no physical button on the front we all have accidents and we all sometimes do this and what happens is that your spot goes all over the lake and sometimes we even do this now because we have not got no button, we ain't got any wastage as in regards to the spod going all over the place. So yeah, that's a nice additional feature that I do like. So I'm not actually clipped up at all, but we'll give it a good thump out there and it will should do over 100 yards, I would imagine. Let's try it out. So that cast out pretty well, it went where it was supposed to have gone. Let's see it retrieves. That's coming back pretty free. There you go. Let's do a couple more casts. Right, cast number two. 
Yeah, I really like the way this cast goes exactly where you want it to. And literally no wobble when it goes out there and it's going where I want it to go. Now it is clogging up a bit of coming back on this one. And there you go. Just do this one at a short, shorter distance. That's about 70 yards, I guess. And as you can see, that's coming back quite nice. Brilliant. I'll tell you what, the standout feature for me straight away is how well this casts. Let's give it a thump. That's well out there. That's definitely 130 yards to guess. And there you go. Right, last cast, and I'm going to be quite happy with what I've seen today. But it's gone a very, very long way. And as you can see, it comes back really, really well. Sometimes it just does get clogged up, but it certainly does cast well. It retrieves relatively well, and every single time it has dropped the bait out there. Well, as I say, back to the studio, I'll give you my final conclusion on this Wolf Export competition. Bye-bye. So, my final conclusion on this export competition. But, let's run through some of the positives I like about this unit, and then I'll give you my honest opinion on whether 
you should be buying this. So first thing you'll probably notice from when I was out on the lake is just how well this goes out and how well it casts. It went out there straight and true. No matter where I put the rod, no matter where I pointed it, this went out to the mark. I think this aerodynamic body, them fins on the back have aided with its performance. And we was going out at 120 yards, oncoming wind, which was just pushing down to the left hand side. We didn't have no drift and it went out there fantastic. I was very, very surprised regarding this spot. Also, when it did get out there, it deposited its bait every single time and the retrieval was pretty good as well. It did get clogged up. However, we was recently on the Chasing Chunks Facebook group and one of the consultants dropped over and gave us a little bit of a tip on how to improve it when it comes back. So basically, just before you start to do your spotting out, all you want to do is just open up these, these doors or the body and just get these doors and just push them open ever so slightly and that will aid in skipping back on the top of the lake and uh, will uh, aid it with its retrieval so a fantastic tip from uh, Gary and one that's very welcome and I'm glad I can share it with my viewers and my subscribers also I liked that it didn't have a button on the front and you don't have any mistake how many times have you gone out to cast out you've either hit the bank behind you or the top of your bivvy and you've deposited all your spod in your swim this does not have that problem and the only time it will deposit its bait is where it's needed out in your spot also because it retains water if you're doing any spotting over zigs or if you're adding any glug or any liquid to your spot mix then you know that it's not going to come out until it gets to your spot you're not going to have any uh, sloppy spot mix over your head when you cast out and apart from its bigger brother the actual spider spot these two are the only two that will actually retain liquid inside so if you're doing a lot of spotting as uh, over zigs then this is definitely the one for you um so yeah absolute fantastic unit and one that i'm definitely gonna keep however because i am a generous sod i'm gonna give this to one of my subscribers and all you need to do to win this is just comment in the section below let me know what you're currently using and i will pick the winner in the next couple of weeks and let you know on one of my videos so 15.99 Though it is a little bit more expensive than some of the other units and some of the other spots, I think it's definitely worth a little bit of an investment from some of the features that this has got. Well built and cast well, does the job well and it's definitely a big thumbs up from Tosh. So thank you for watching, don't forget to subscribe, get your name down, let me know down below and uh, I'll get this out to uh, one of my subscribers in the next couple of weeks. So, it's a bish bash bosh, keep it tosh, wet nets, tight lines. See you on my next video. Just one more thing, if you want any more additional info on this, then I'll leave the link to the Wolf website below. So, thank you guys, thank you for watching. See you next time on one of my videos. Bye bye.